I stumbled on an opportunity which I thought I was assured could change my life. Miss Linda, she said her name was. She could help me with her honest smile and bright look was my conviction to accept her proposal. We talked. I was to continue school and my dreams of becoming a teacher was just a stone throw of becoming reality. From my village to the city was just an hour. Excited as I was when I arrived. The city was indeed as beautiful as I imagined. There I met the man whom I was to work for. Mr. Mwa, a small man with a frightful look. Miss Linda smiled and all I heard was package. The next was a huge sum of money being handed to her. I wondered where a man as cranky as Mr. Ngwa could get such huge amount of money. Giving it to Miss Linda with a smile on his face. But I didn't understand what happened as I found myself in a dark room which I tried to get out to no avail. As I turned to check the room, I received the greatest shock of my life. I saw young girls, some pregnant, others pale and skinny. Later in the evening, a scary looking guy entered, holding something in his hand. I guess it was food as the aroma caused my nose and intestine to dance to its tune. He dropped it on the floor, pushed it with his leg, and without a word, he walked out. Could it be poisoned? The other girls jumped on it, like a cheetah on an antelope. Within a twinkle of an eye, they emptied the plate. Are they going to be fine? I wonder. The next day and night, three men came in. I could recognize only this scary looking guy. With no question, the scary looking guy pointed at me. They dragged me and fell on me. All I could feel was pain. They raped me brutally. My legs, my whole body aches. The other girls weeped silently with me. Then it all came to me, these bad people deal with child trafficking and sex slavery. I thought I was migrating to paradise, but no, we were fed like cats. When they left, one of the girls cleaned me up. And the others came to console me. I could never forget the pain and pity I saw in her face. Her name was Sarah. She was kind. The only girl I got to know her name. Two years passed by. Oh. I miss the comfort of my home. Girls keep coming in. Others being bought and others sold. All I could do was pray. And my God, 
did it for me. Miss Linda was arrested and we were liberated. My name is Janet and I survived. <laughs>